we're at the Museum of Illusions now in Kansas City, and we have been like five steps into the place, and Leslie doesn't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> well, this thing changes, I guess. When you move around, it changes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. got to stand back, Leslie. Oh, exactly. See, I walked. See, when you, okay. when you okay. shift... You have to walk this way. It changes. Okay, now I'm thinking. You get it now? I get it now. That's only the first thing in the whole place. <laughs> I'm glad we got it nailed down. Oh my god, look at you, you look so tiny. Jerry looks like the Jolly Green Giant. That's awesome. Now switch. 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 Oh, look at how much he grew, just <laughs> uh. We're in a tilted room right now, so we're standing on an angle, but... Oh, we're standing straight up. But yeah, if you look in the mirror over there, it looks like we're cockeyed, but we're standing straight up in here. This is, this is quite the illusion. It's crazy. Look, Leslie doesn't have a body. She looks so tiny. <laughs> Look at Dustin. For once I'm taller than you. Oh look, Leslie's playing cards with herself. And I can deal with myself. <laughs> there's a ton of cards out on the table. You throw one, there's like six cards that appear. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh wow, there's lots of us in here. Oh, oh look, it's like an army. Yeah. So you, can you see a whole row of me? This mm -hmm. way? Yeah, down each aisle you can see. I, see, like, I can I see, see like a whole aisle of you there. I can see a whole aisle of you down this way. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like I robot. It is. When they all lined up. Yeah. Which cool. Leslie is real? Which Leslie is the real Leslie? The real Leslie, please stand up. There's the real Leslie. <laughs> Alright, getting ready to go to the vortex room. Well, it looks like you're spinning. Probably not the best for my vertigo. But we'll see how it goes. Going behind you. I need something to Don't build. look down that Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, Leslie and I are standing on opposite sides of the mirror. And so now we are like one person converged into. <laughs> that's so crazy. I have titties. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, Justin. Oh, yeah, baby. baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at all the Leslie's. Just move forward and back a little bit. There. Oh. Now up a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't come to Kansas City without getting some good Kansas City barbecue. So we're at Jack Stack Barbecue right across from Union Station, and uh, it, it's gonna be good. Leslie got something I've never heard of before, or yeah. seen before. What'd you get? I got the burnt end stew. Wow. It's got potatoes, carrots, and burnt end. Meat. Sounds yummy. Good. When's the last time we were on public transportation? Oh, it was probably in Europe. Yeah, maybe Paris. Paris, we, we did the transit system there. We did the hop on hop off tour in Nashville. Well, that's not really public that's not though, public because we yeah, paid for that. Yeah. So public transportation, we were taking today because the parking down at City Market was just so crazy. And we had to come down to Union Station to do the Museum of Illusions anyway. Yeah. And then we just noticed that there's like a train, like a, well, a streetcar really. Yeah, streetcars. And they're free in Kansas City. It just, it's not much of a loop, but it takes you to a lot of the big spots that you would want to hit. Yeah. So, it's free, so we might see some colorful characters on board. Oh, we're definitely seeing some colorful characters. But it is daytime. I don't know if I'd do it at night. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, it should be interesting. Yeah. Well, we're out at the city market now. This is Leslie's wheelhouse. Yeah. Shopping. Yeah, I love markets. Yeah, hopefully we can find some ice cream or some 
goodies out here. Yes, I saw on the other side there is a scoops and floats place. Yes, please. So. They have lots of vendors out here. Lots of like little crafty stuff. Fresh, vegetables. yeah, fruits and vegetables yeah. and baked goods and so um, it's good that we ate before we came. Yeah, otherwise I'd spend way more. Oh yeah, because we'd be like, ooh, that looks good. Right. Ooh, get that. Ooh, yeah. let's get that. Uh, that looks good. We still might do it anyway. We but. probably will. <laughs> so far, the market is not disappointing. They have fresh produce, and this place is crazy. The spice place, because when you walk past here, you can like really smell the spices. It's yeah. Amazing. Wow, it smells so good. <laughs> mm, if only I cooked. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> come here. I come in here. Come on. Because <laughs> here. <laughs> now it's time for ice cream. You're going to get chocolate or chocolate? She's a hard one to read. Hmm. And I gotta narrow it down to those two. I bleed chocolate. So chocolate so then? Chocolate. Yeah. Man, I was thinking chocolate, but you went with chocolate. <laughs> totally threw me off. I think I'll go with chocolate also. Can you eat that whole thing? No, not. <laughs> Definitely not. But I'm gonna hurt myself trying. <laughs> They also have the Arabia Steamboat Museum down here. And we went here a couple years ago when we were down here. I'll put a link uh, to that video in the description. But it's a very cool museum. If you get a chance to go, it's basically these, these brothers, these guys who found a steamboat from a long, long time ago. It was out in the middle of a field, which used to be underwater. But it's just very interesting. All the stuff that they found on the steamboat, the documents, all of the, uh, the goods, and because it was, it was like a transport steamboat that was taking goods from port to port and actually sank and then when the river dried up it ended up being down in somebody's field so it's just very interesting stuff uh, go watch the video it's cool well i don't know if it's that cool it was a couple years ago and we weren't really that good at this stuff yet but the content is interesting but maybe not entertaining <laughs> well thank you to sumo springs the sponsor of today's video um, sumo springs are maintenance free suspension enhancement for your rv or your vehicle. They're made out of like this microcellular polyurethane, which yeah. I don't know what that means, but it's very scientific <laughs> and they work really good. It reduces the, the sway, the hop, and the body roll when you're towing. But the body roll is really important because of that frame flex thing that everybody's right. got going on. And unlike independent suspension that you'll pay like 10 grand for, you can take these sumo springs with you. So if you decide you're gonna change RVs, you can take them off your current RV, take them with you to the next RV, and to the next RV, and to the next RV. Yes. You don't have to worry about keep, keep buying independent suspension exactly. for your RV. Sumo Springs come with a lifetime warranty, a 30-day money-back guarantee, free shipping and handling under 50 pounds, and best of all, they're made in the USA. We'll leave a link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15%, and all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. One of the things we're gonna do on this summer's vacation while we're traveling is to show you some of the places that we're staying at. Where we're staying at right now is called Peculiar Place RV Park in Peculiar, Missouri. And you can see we're parked here. This is where Jerry and Teresa are parked. So we have, we have some big pull through spaces, which is really nice. And we have this space in between us where we can hang out in the evenings. Over here, we have a couple little campers. It would be our living area, but we kind of hang out over here. So it's not that big a deal. And then they don't have anybody on that side of them. We're behind the office, which is over here. We do have some shade, which is really nice. Jerry and Teresa have more shade than we have, but we do have a little bit of shade, especially in the morning. In the afternoon, we don't have as much shade, but we do have just enough space for our Starlink to work really well. Here's a pro tip. If you're in the campground and your grass is a little too tall and you want them to mow, just come outside on your camera. Guaranteed, every time you come outside on your camera and they'll, they'll start mowing. You're welcome for that. All right, I have to show you this. We were out walking last night and we saw this and I've never seen anything like it. It was too dark to record last night. So I wanted to come out this morning. I wanted to make sure they weren't like leaving today and I missed them. Look at this. This is like a homemade class A with a fifth wheel hitch on the back pulling a, a, a fifth wheel trailer of some kind back here. Look, this has got to be a hundred foot site. 
and they're taking up almost the whole thing. He's even hanging off the back a little bit back there. And I don't know, this has got to be like a homemade build or something. They have, they have like four sewer hoses to be able to reach all the way back there. They're not home right now, so I don't, I don't think I'm invading their privacy. I'm not like on their stuff, but this is, this is crazy. I don't want to get on their, on their, on their lot over there to see the other side. I don't want to invade their privacy, but leave us a comment and let us know if you have ever seen anything like this before in your life. This is crazy. Look at all the storage. Yeah. Storage, 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 storage. Oh my gosh. We're out at uh, Teresa's sister's family's house having some dinner and they got some horses so we're gonna come down here and and meet the horsies. This is Mickey. He's got the fan like a superstar blowing his hair. He's an attention whore. <laughs> this is Cole. Hello Cole. Let's get some water. Leslie's giving kisses. <laughs> you got Daisy over there and Bella in there. We couldn't see them from inside the barn because they're eating now and they are no longer interested in us because they have food. It's cool to see horses every once in a while. <laughs> my grandparents had, had some horses. My, my father had some horses uh, when I was younger. And so um, I'm no stranger to, to hanging out with horses. And I would like to go on a ride sometime soon. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe coming soon to a YouTube channel near you, we will, we will go on like a horseback riding expedition or something. Just got back, so we're going to take Scout out. There's a little, little pond out here. They have some koi fish out here, some tadpoles. Actually, the tadpoles are pretty far along developed. They're going to be frogs yeah. very, very there soon. they are. But, uh, nice little ambiance out here. Yeah. It's nice and quiet. Very feng shui. And yeah, we didn't notice it at first, but uh, if you pay attention around the edge of the pond here, you see the bigger toads. So that's probably mommy and daddy watching out for the uh, watching out for the babies. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.